The leaves are falling, and so is the inventory. Welcome to the Monday Market. Happy Monday, everybody, and you already know what this is. It's the Monday Market, where we talk about last week in real estate. I, of course, am your host, Connor Coltrip from Remax, and this week we saw a really calm week, especially compared to whatever happened last week. Holy crap. <laughs> so this week we saw 16 new listings, we saw two properties come back to the market, we saw another 16 conditional deals, we saw 24 closed deals, and this time we saw only four price decreases and we also saw four price increases. And we also had eight canceled listings. So I want to keep coming back to the increases and decreases because a lot of you guys messaged me that uh, from last week's video. So this time, three out of the four decreases were in Concarden, and that strategy seems to have worked as two out of the three reductions had accepted offers placed on them, which reminds us that pricing is one of the key factors to selling your home. You have to price it right. Uh, speaking of price, all but one of the price increases were still on new builds, and interestingly, they were still in the Port Elgin and Saugeen Shores area. I've been saying this for a bit now, but I don't really think this trend is going to go anywhere anytime soon. It'll be really interesting to see how long it takes these price increases to come to other smaller areas, such as Kincardine, Godrich, or even smaller uh, towns such as uh, Ripley or Hanover or something like that. So we are still benefiting from record low mortgage rates, but this is one of those things that simply can't last because at one point the banks will look to recoup their costs that they've lost over the pandemic. And since they are literally as low as they can go, prices can only go up from here. Mortgage prices at least. So this means a lot of smaller communities are sitting in a really unique opportunity to purchase for one of the very first times at such an incredibly low rate. And we're honestly just not sure when this is going to happen again. So this is just something for you to sit on and think about. But now, if only we had an influx of inventory, then buyers would really be set. But we are seeing a much higher rate of homes being sold than new inventory coming to the market, which means we sit in this weird mishmash of it's a great time for sellers and it's a great time for buyers. So the market is just all over the place right now. But that is all we have for this week, folks. And we are getting so close to Halloween, one of my favorite times of the year. So I wanted to know, what is one of your favorite Halloween movies? And fun fact for you, uh, one of my favorite movies is Halloween Town, and the villain in Halloween Town 2 is actually also a realtor. He works out of LA. So let me know what is one of your favorite Halloween movies in the comments down below, and I will see you guys right here again next week. Take care, everybody. So one thing I didn't know when recording the video the first time was that uh, the actor Marnie, uh, the main character of Halloween Town, got married to the villain of Halloween Town 2. And honestly, that is just gonna make rewatches really awkward now.